how to download free applications from the code base. The code base library contains thousands of trading robots and technical indicators. Every day developers will add their new programs to the code base which then can be downloaded for free and used within the MetaTrader 5 trading platform. So we're going to go ahead and give you a short demonstration on how to download the applications within the software. Uh, this is a great tool that if you're looking for a particular indicator, for example, that does not exist under the, the default indicator list here, and you want to go ahead and search for it within the code base, uh, and if it's available, you can actually download it. So outside of uh, MetaTrader 5, there are a lot of developers out there that create their own tools, upload them into the platform, and pretty much give you the opportunity to download them for free. So the first step is what we're going to do is we're going to go down into the toolbox here, and you can see all the submenu tabs. And you want to click on the code, back, uh, code base tab here. And this is where you're going to see the list of the available indicators that you can download for free. All right, there's different ways that you can sort the indicators. If you right click within the context menu, you can allocate it by expert advisors, indicators, scripts. Uh, you can also sort it by name, description, just by simply clicking the header title, the rating, or also date. So date would be a nice one, for example, if you want to take a look at the most recent indicator that was uploaded into the MetaTrader 5 software. So in this case, GAN Swing Chart and Hybrid Zigzag Implementation, uh, which is also known as Swing Chart. So we'll use that one as an example to download. Uh, but also another thing I want, to, I want to point out as well, uh, if you're looking for a particular indicator, you know whether it, it may exist or not, but you want to search for it versus scrolling down the entire list, which uh, could be extensive in terms of time, so what you're going to want to do is click here on the top right corner. There's a little magnifying glass that says online search. And then what you can do is you can type in the name of a particular tool that you're looking for. All right, so I'm just going to use a very basic example. Let's say moving average. All right, so if you're interested in finding a specific indicator that's in relation to moving averages, type in moving average, hit the search button, or hit enter on your keyboard. And then what it will do, it will search for anything keyword moving averages within the, the MetaTrader 5 world within the platform. Now once you populate the search, by default it's going to search it across all category groups here. So what you're probably going to want to do is click on Codebase here to find moving averages in specific to Codebase. Now you can see the different uh, moving averages, uh, Codebase indicators that are available for you to download. So double exponential moving average as you can see. So you can scroll down the list, and the one thing that's cool about this is when you find what you're looking for, so let's say this particular indicator here, if I click it, it will then take me immediately to that particular indicator within the actual code base tab waiting, waiting for you to download. All right, so that's pretty much what the code base is used for. Let's go ahead and go ahead and show you an example of how to download one. All right, so let's go back to the swing chart. So this is uh, the most recent one that I found. I was able to sort it by date. You can see there. November 9th, 2016, which is today's date. Uh, it looks like it has a rating, I believe, of four, uh, five stars from the looks of it. So it's just an example. Uh, there's no preference really on, on what indicator I'm downloading. I'm actually just downloading the most recent one that was uploaded today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on the indicator, and I'm going to go ahead and click Download here. And a couple seconds, you're going to see a prompt pop up letting you know that the indicator has completed downloading. This is what it looks like. You have downloaded the SwingSharp program. Swing chart, it has been saved in the MQL5 indicators downloads folder and is ready for use. Do you want to add it to the active chart? So we'll go ahead and do that. We're going to hit yes. All right, and the first thing it's going to bring up is the parameters of the indicator that uh, you're trying to add that you just downloaded. All right, so here you can go ahead and make your changes. Uh, if you watch the indicator video that we've done, you should know how to change the colors and customize your indicator. But this is pretty much the parameter field for this particular indicator that we're downloading right now from within the code base. I'm going to click OK. And there it is. Now it's added right on the chart. So that was a third-party tool that was developed by a developer outside of MetaTrader 5 that uploaded it into the platform for free for users like yourself to, to go in there and download. Now if you're wondering where does that download store after you have downloaded the indicator, it's going to be within the Indicators tab here. And you're going to see a sub-menu called Downloads. All right, so that's the very first one that I downloaded. So therefore, if you have never downloaded a code base indicator, that download submenu will not exist because you haven't downloaded a code base indicator just yet. So in this case, I've just downloaded one, and you can see that there's only one that exists at this moment. So if I were to download another one, you would see that that particular code base indicator would be added underneath this download submenu within the indicator tab here. All right, so you can go ahead and now, if you want to delete it, you can delete it, you know, just by simply deleting the indicator. 
and now you can see it's removed and now watch as I remove the indicator or better yet delete it from the indicator list itself you will notice that the downloads folder will no longer exist I right, see how it no longer exists so that's because I had no longer have any third-party code base indicators implemented into the MetaTrader 5 software all right, so that's pretty much a short demonstration on how to download code base tools within MetaTrader 5. It's a great tool to use if you are looking for a specific indicator or tool that does not exist within the platform by default. Uh, this is one of the many strengths of MetaTrader 5 is because you have a huge community of developers out there that are constantly proactive in creating new tools for users like yourself to utilize. And you can use this particular library to go and search for an indicator that you are looking to download. If you have any questions about this, please contact your 24-hour support team. You can reach us at 312-893-6400, extension 1, to get you transferred directly to our help desk. Uh, definitely stay up to date on our YouTube channel. We're very proactive in keeping you up to date on new content. You can reach us at www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Again, that's www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate your valuable time, and happy trading.